Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel Learn with Fun by Medha. So today we are going to learn an interesting game. Which one? That's correct. We are going to learn a picture sudoku. So what are we waiting for? Let's go for it. So friends, are you excited to play the game? Yes, me too. But before that, let's understand how the game works. So let's go for it. So now, let's understand some of the basics. So here you can see these horizontal bars. So each of this horizontal bar is called as row. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. Now let's see what do we mean by column. So each of this vertical bar is called as column. So column 1, column 2, 3 and column 4. So now that we understood what is row and what is column, so let's see what do we mean by 4 by 4. When we say 4 by 4, that means 4 rows, that is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 4 columns, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now let's understand the rules of the game. So the first rule says each row contains each picture exactly once like this so there should not be repetition of picture in a single row so the second rule says each column contains each picture exactly once like this so in a column you cannot repeat the given pictures it should be exactly once so the last rule is each region surrounded by thick lines that is this highlighted region this one so this is one region, this is second region, this is third and this is fourth. So each region surrounded by these thick lines contains each picture exactly once. Like this. So, but the catch is all three rules should be satisfied together. Mm. I think it is little confusing but don't worry let's actually play the game to understand it better so let's go so this is our game so as we discuss we have four rows and four columns right so now we have to place these four pictures in such a way that we follow those three rules. Yes, the first rule was in each row these all four pictures should appear once. In each column these four pictures should appear once. And in this inner squares these four pictures should appear once so are we ready to start let's begin so 
now. Let's start playing the game. So remember those three rules which says in each row there should be these four pictures only once. Similarly in each column these four pictures should be once. And the inner squares should have each picture only once like this. So let's start placing the pictures. But remember the starting point is very important so that we don't go wrong. So for that we have to look out which row or column has the most number of pictures like this one. This column has three pictures already so it's easy to decide which picture is remaining. So in this we have sun, star and butterfly. So the missing picture is cloud. That's right. Let's move on. So now this row we can see which has already three pictures. So once again which is missing? That's correct. Butterfly is missing. So we place the butterfly here. Now let's look again which column or row has three pictures or more pictures. So this column has once again three pictures. So which one is remaining? That's right, a star is remaining. So now you can see here in this inner square we have four pictures exactly once. So that means we have placed our pictures so far correctly. Then let's look out for another row or column. I think this column has again three pictures. So which one is missing? That's right, a butterfly is missing. So, so far so good. So now we are nearly finishing the game. So now we can consider this row. Mm, you can select this or this as well but let's go for this. So here we can see star, butterfly and cloud. So the remaining one is sun. That's correct. So now let's see this row. Butterfly, star and sun. So the missing is cloud. That's correct. So and the last one we can go by this way or this way. It will have the missing as butterfly. So here we go. We completed our game and you can see each column has each picture only once. Similarly rows and the inner squares. So here we go. I hope you enjoyed this game. So friends, I hope now you understood how to play the picture Sudoku. So if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share with others. So thank you and stay tuned for more such videos. For now, bye.